All right, hello and good evening, everybody. We are back here in Spare Room Studios tonight to continue our Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion adventure with the Eastern Roman Empire. Let's go ahead and get it fired up here. Make sure all my systems are online and nothing is blowing up. Perfect. Never a good thing when your computer crashes in the middle of a game, but it seems to happen to me all too often. All right, let's get going. Have an abundance of gold and silver. <laughs> Make things go smoothly. Words to live by right there. So we're going to le we're going to rejoin our game very close to where we left off the last time. Um, we were just about to get ready for the siege of Antioch and the defense against the traitor. Uh, unfortunately, well, it's not Quartin uh, Quartinius Dio here. That's not the man that is our traitor. It is this man here, Quartinius Messia, or yeah, I'm going to go with Messia. I'm just going to go with that pronunciation. Um, he was the victor in the Battle of Hatra, and successfully took it for the Western Roman Empire. I'm sorry, the Eastern Roman Empire. Unfortunately, he decided to defect and decided to join his own faction and create the Eastern Roman Empire rebels. And took my very lovely besieging army, or most of it, and is now besieging Antioch with the following siege equipment. So, he's very well provisioned and armed. Unfortunately... My units are not quite as much. I've got a small force here that is going to attempt to break off the siege. Um, but as you can see, only these Legio, uh, Legio Lanciari here, uh, he's got full-on legionnaires. So I am definitely outclassed there. I do, however, have a fairly large army with legionnaires and improved... And again, I'm bad at the uh, pronunciations here, but uh, Plume Batiari, something like that. Uh, they're a little bit more advanced, some cavalry. They are meant to take out this army and put an end to this rebellion before it spreads farther. The rebellion itself has spread. Uh, it's south here in Petra. Sir. This gentleman right here, uh, we'll just call him Crispus. I love that name, Crispus. Uh, he was kicked out of Petra and uh, went back to Alexandria, got some heavy troops, and he's going to take back Petra for the Eastern Roman Empire here. Uh, lots of peasants, camel raiders, and some basic town watch type units should be able to take that out. Meanwhile, around the rest of the world, if we go back up here to the Greek Peninsula, we took Sirmium last time, and uh, we've been holding it quite nicely. Unfortunately, the town doesn't have a very large population, but it has been steadily growing. We also are up here in Colonia Dacia. We would like to move this army out of Colonia Dacia because it is an assaulting army, and uh, we really don't need assault troops up there anymore. We really just need a garrison force. So, might be looking at Constantinople here to help with training a uh, more of a, I guess, babysitting army that can. Uh, help hold Colonia Dacia down, free up these troops to come back to Constantinople for retraining, and eventually I would like to take Salona, which you can see here has some significant damage to it, but it does have fairly weak defenses, and it does give us a seaport then, which unfortunately, since the Western Roman Empire decided to declare war on us, uh, would give us a route to strike at the heart of Rome itself. Now we do have... Here's Western Roman Navy Ready in the sail. vicinity, so we do well to take care of them. Victory! Set sail. 
chase them out. Retrain our boats. Right. Not much else we can do this turn. I think we've already attempted our assassination attempt. Cotes up here. Uh, another loyalist revolt after it was beaten by the Sassanids. So we'll certainly keep an eye on them. And really what I want to look at is my financials because next turn, oof, that treasury. Not going to be good. You guys have our upkeep of 201. But I do need some troops here and in fact... I might just auto-resolve this one. That way we chase them out. Alright. Fortunately, we're probably just going to have to lick our wounds here and fight it out in Antioch. At your service. And here it is, the battle you've been waiting for. Defending against the Eastern Roman Empire rebels in their first assault against our fair city. Let's duke it out. nice about Antioch as as in the many battles before we do have very solid walls now the problem is going to be they're bringing four rams against us so we're gonna to have to defend against four potential points of contact which is the most concerning to me because rams are tough uh, particularly if they're not running right at the gate where we can get quality shots on them so our hope here is that we can head them off at the pass by putting archers on the wall and hopefully they'll be able to shoot at the rams as they pass by. Now the question may be, why not put archers on the walls here and have them fire at the enemies who are coming up the towers? Well, there's two reasons for that. One, these towers have very powerful ballista on them and they will clear out anything that's on the ramparts. Like yes. these guys here, we don't want them up there. They will get toasted if they are stationed up there. Those ballista will rip right into them because they're much higher than the ramparts and thus can fire down on my men. And we don't want that to happen. Same thing over here. We want to make sure that we get that ram nice and peppered full of arrows. So we're going to put some archers right there. And hopefully... The archers can light that uh, ram on fire before it reaches our gate. It's going to pass at least one tower here, plus the gates. And we'll move the archers alongside, so we'll have to keep an eye on them. But back to the main force. We need to get as many men as possible onto the walls as they're putting men onto the walls. Because once the towers are at the wall, they stop shooting at us. So... Let's divvy up our men. We know that they have some pretty heavy troops. Yes. These are going to be our first defenders to cover this tower. These are going to be for the second tower here. Now we need to assign some troops to guard the walls and the gate. This unit is going to be on gate patrol, and they are also going to be our second line of defense in the event that these walls breach. If they, if we're able to destroy the ram, we will deploy them on the ramparts wherever they are needed. Yes. Actually, we want to use these troops. Now, we are also going to need to cover the gates. We need to figure out which ram has the better chance of hitting 
Each of them are going to go past only one tower. I have a feeling, though, that since there are two rams going this way, I'm going to deploy my general. Oops. Right over here. His job is going to be to guard the gate since he has 50 uh, bodyguards next to him. Our other general is going to be holding the other gate. Now, in the event that the rams burn, we will, of course, recall the generals back to the front and uh, make sure that we don't get overrun. Commander. Now, in addition to that one general, I am also going to put some spearmen over here since he only has 25 men at his command. They're going to be our defense on gate number three. Technically, they have gate number four, but I'm guessing that if he was going to walk all the way back there, um, they're not going to make it there alive. That leaves us with two heavy units left. I would like to assign some men to that other gate in the event that they do breach. My guess is that these guys, I can't see what they are, but they've got other units there. I'm going to assign some heavy units. Well, actually... Move this unit over. So you only have 25, you get the heavier troops. And in the event that the walls fall, we're going to divert men over in that direction quickly. Which leaves this unit here as a flexible unit. We are going to stack them down here so we can get them in range if needed. Now the idea is going to be to get these units on the wall as quickly as possible. I want these guys out here on this side of the tower where they won't be hit by the large ballista over here. That way these guys are free to run up the walkway unopposed, or unimpeded I should say. Same thing with these guys. We want them on the opposite side of this tower so they don't get shot to pieces. Archers are going to fire at will. And I believe we've got everything stacked. So... Let's duke it out. Here they come. Now, it's going to be critical. None of this is going to... It's all going to be for naught unless that ram falls. Well... That was convenient. <laughs> it's already burning. Perfect. You no longer need to allocate troops to guarding the gate. Nor do we need to allocate it to that siege tower. Well, this day is going great. We're going to get those guys up on the ramparts quickly. Well, that tower is down. The enemy towers have reached the walls. Pray to the gods that Roman courage will win the day. All right. We need to get our guys up on the walls as quick as possible. Start having them march. And have you guys walk down this way. You are going to march down this way and defend those walls. Should have plenty of men up on the tops now to defend. Archers should be firing as well. to the wall, guys. Come on. Oh, 
they may not be able to hit him from that position. Alright, party ball is about to drop. Oops. Excellent. We've got men up there to defend. If you guys can't hit them, move over to this position. Let's check our other archers. They're firing nicely upon the enemy. Remember, we've got two rams coming down this way. Alright guys, stop firing on that for right now. Hoping that that ram falls. This isn't good, though. See, I should have called in everybody. Yep. over here. Oh, their ram is down. Archers, we no longer need you over there. One ram down. I'm gonna move you guys over there to cover the breach if we have one. And actually, we're gonna need you guys back here because this is not going well at all. Spearmen coming up, but I have a feeling, though, that this side is going to get hit. Oh no, the ram is down. All right, all rams are down. A unit of your troops has been surrounded. As there is nowhere to run to, they will now... Get on that side and help secure.
secure that flank. General, we need you up here. All rams are destroyed, which means they can they can just sit out there and do absolutely nothing but get shot at by my ballista towers. Ah, there you go. Now you can get hit. Oh, we need some men up here quick. You guys gotta get up there fast. to lose the walls. Yeah, they're running through us. The gateway has fallen. The walls have fallen to the enemy! The gods have abandoned us! All right, General, it's up to you. Hold tight, boys. We're not done yet. All right, we've gotten them off the walls. Although we can't go out, otherwise that those towers will wreck us. Not until we capture them. As soon as we move over here, the gateway will be ours again. Come on, boys, I need you to take it. Yes! Gateway is now ours. Move out of there. They're trapped inside. They have nowhere to run.
prepare to get sandwiched. Yep. That's what's gonna happen to you. Traitorous. Die to traitor's death. They still have men up here. Sally forth! Don't let them climb that tower. Take out the rest of their infantry if you can. They're routing. Run them down. Take him out, General. There we go. Don't leave any one of those murderous, conniving rebels alive. Kill the traitors. Archers. Light him up. Kill the traitor. Barely have any infantry left, but those guys up there are trapped.
don't know what you guys are doing over there running into walls for. Isn't there supposed to be 20 of you? There's one guy left. The enemy are utterly beaten! This is a crushing victory! Worthy of a great general! I wouldn't call it a crushing victory. A heroic victory all the same. Theodosius versus Quartinius Dio. 789 men deployed, 830 killed. The killer of the day is the Imperial Household Bodyguard at 106. Not too bad. We played our cards right and got some help with that one, and Antioch, for the time being, is safe. And the Eastern Roman Empire rebels have been dealt a crushing defeat. That being most of their attack force, They no longer have much to rely on. However, we'll still need to reinforce our borders. by the of the Sassanid. Killer waiting for orders. Well, we don't want him around. He shall be removed. Ooh, but he's a really good spy. Won't be able to take him out. His life will end. Death approaches. He escaped the battle, but not my assassin. Another traitor. Dead. He won't be troubling us anymore. Cadonia has completed some expansion there. Excellent. Goths and Franks have declared war. Troops up there and Forward. Forward. try to move some troops up in that direction so that we can move that army out. We've already got retraining occurring. Heavy troops in there as well. General! As well as replenish our own. Tone down the games a little bit. Maybe be able to retrain. There we go, retrain the general unit. I Captain. Only be one more turn aye, until aye, our out of move, support sir. troops are there to help us out. Let's take a look down here at Petra. General! Attack! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! Settlement under siege? How old is this guy? He's 50, holy cow. The popular hero. Whisper his name and sigh. <laughs> and he's been around the block a few times. Certainly capable. 
we'll besiege them for a few turns and hopefully weaken them a little bit. A little bit of money left in our coffers, too. We train some boats. Assassins are back. An impressive army this time. Unfortunately, we just can't hold that place. It's too far beyond our border. That will give us a fighting chance. Assassin ready. Eat dead. Yes, master. Quite the experience in this general here. Fortunately, he hasn't uh, matured quite as much. Fleet but yes, Captain. Leaving the army off the boats, sir. One thing about him is he is going to enact revenge against the traitor. Sir! Onward! Out of move, sir! Orders! March! Combining troops! No more moves, sir! Sir! Very large attack army to besiege Hatra. Who shall die this day? He's dead. Any chance we can take out that other family member? Oh, he finally met his match. That is too bad. He got a lot of good kills. Quite a few of them notched up. Time for another assassin. Hopefully he will have the same success. Nothing more for the bolts to do here. Send him back. Yes, Captain. No more moves, sir. Fortunately, Cotes just not enough time to train any units there. What's going on in Constantinople here. There's some stirrings of unrest. Keep an eye out for that. Out Troops move, moving sir. up to Colonia Dacia, so we can move that army out of there. Yes. Now, I would like to have a discussion. Ooh, a enemy army on the horizon there. That's not good. Let's talk with the West to see if we can convince them to not kill us. Apparently not. All right. Much else we can build up in that direction. Thessalonica, perhaps? Definitely need something here that's going to cut down on the squalor. Holy cow. That is a ton of squalor. Have a bath. That should clean that up. Or if that's what's happening in Constantinople. Yeah, squalor for sure. The governor's religion is a key contributing factor as well. These are a little too expensive for what I'm looking for. Take a look down here in Athens. I think we can retrain some boats. Fleet ready! Go back here. We can build some more ships. Add another boat to the fleet there, since we still have enemy Roman fleets in the area. Train in Salamis here as well. Aye, Captain. There we go. We'll get that fleet back up to full capacity. Petra under siege. They're holding them quite well there. Ooh, here we've got some issues. Squalor again, an issue. Retrain some troops. Christian shrine would be, or church would be good there. 
now that uh, we have the opportunity, let's go ahead and save our game and let's go take Petra. Let's start crushing this rebellion. Orders, engage the enemy. We don't take kindly to traitors. We'll put them swiftly to the sword. Ah yes, mere infantry, poor beggars. Well, if you look up the definition of infantry or where it came from in the Roman army, it was because the frontline soldiers were infants, hence infantry. The idea was you put your newest the soldiers out and How many of us hopefully if they didn't kill the war, enemy, the enemy got tired killing them. The we're gonna wait. There we go. There is no shame. Get rid of that dust storm. Siege equipment. All right, we've got our ram, and we've got a straight shot right into Petra. Actually, I'd rather you guys stack up a little bit. Nobody go running off. Tree here. Fire at will. Let's go kill some rebels. Speed this up a little bit. Don't have to worry too much about fire, being fired on by these towers since they're kind of facing the opposite direction, hence the long, narrow column. Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. Knock, knock, is anyone home? There we go. Archers are taking some pot shots while we knock at the gate. Our soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate. All right, heavy infantry, you're in first. Start taking some shots. These aren't the best archers in the world, but uh, they get the job done. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. I have them move up a little bit. Peasants on the left. Quite my light infantry to take care of that. Or actually, these are spearmen, but similar. Archers continue to pepper them. into a flanking position. Sometimes when your spearmen just aren't doing the job, you need to send in the general. And now we've got him on the run. Right, guys, don't get too eager. The 
general will take care of these guys. In fact, I don't think there's many left. Maybe one guy running around down there. In fact, he is the last one. General, don't chase him. Not worth it. He's gonna run into my legions anyway. I disrupt my formation. I don't know why he'd run right through them, but <laughs> he's done for. General, I want to see if there's an alternate route that we can take to the city, but it does not appear to be a good one. I'm have you loop around that way. Archers keep moving up. Alright, we'll move our column of infantry forward. I'd like our archers to be able to hit those locations. General, I'd like you to be able to flank from that position. Archers, can you guys not, seriously not hit that yet? Oh, he's going to attack with the general first. Interesting maneuver. Archers, you can take your shots whenever you'd like. Archers will continue to pepper them. I, the general is the only one that I'm worried about there. Alright, general, let's come on in. We need some moral support. Our guys are getting cornered in there. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. And God down he goes. Praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Archers, you can knock that off, by the way. Get out of there, General. You're going to get yourself killed. Alright, you can take out the last bit of that bodyguard, but... Hit him from the flank. And one swift run, and they should be gone. Peasants and a couple spearmen left. Shouldn't be too much trouble.
will be amazed at such a victory. The day is ours! All right. 392 kills, and we only lost 60. Biggest killer of the day, the Imperial Household Bodyguard, the General, at 153. Not too bad. And we do not tolerate that type of insubordination. Set the town ablaze. Resistance is futile. Petra is now back under our control. And the rebellion shrinks by every passing turn. Now we don't have enough money for that Imperial Palace, which is what they need. Actually. Ban the peasants. Get them to be retrained. All right. We'll end the turn with a little bit of cash in our pocket. Imperator, orders. Sir. there. Assassinans investigating Antioch. Apparently are successful. This army is going back to Constantinople for retraining. When you want to entice the enemy into battle, you need to offer them some advantage. And a turn report. We're still losing a little bit of money, but we are the most advanced faction. Hmm. Romans and the Franks are allies. Interesting. I, Captain. We need to take care of that to enemy Roman fleet over there. Ready to sail! Set sail! No more moves, sir! We need an armor here in Athens so that we can rebuild our fleet. At least retrain them, anyway. Side and not very happy, and I can't do much about it. Contributing to it. Lots of squalor. Civil unrest. Yes, master. Killer waiting for orders. The Frankish diplomats out here. His life will end. Small Sassanid army going to Caesarea here. Not too concerned given this, their small size. At your service, watching and waiting. Imperator! Prepare for battle! I'll no crush that moves, rebellion. Sir. Sidon and hopefully be able to fix whatever ails him here.
Imperator. That governor is everywhere. This man might be the reason. Onward. Imperator. No, didn't impact public order at all. Sir, march. And we'll leave him back in there. Sir. All right, not much we can fix here. Squalor again, a main detractor from Antioch. In stone walls there since we seem to be having a lot of incursions in the area. And men coming back, which is good. Ready to sail! Ready to sail! And we're gonna be attacked at Cotes. We may stand a chance at this one, but I'm not holding out for much. Hey, this is Kevin from Reeb64 Gaming. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you'd like to see more fun videos like the one you just watched, click over here. And if you want to get alerts for when new videos are available, you can subscribe to my channel right over here. Thank you for subscribing, and we will see you next stream.